Ukrainian military expert Alexander Kovalenko summarized the first month of Ukraine's operation in Russia's Kursk region. On his Telegram channel, Alexander Kovalenko reported that Ukrainian forces have achieved significant progress by capturing approximately 1,300 kilometers squared of territory in Russia's Kursk region. This advance has established a buffer zone along the border with Ukraine's Sumy region. According to Kovalenko, Ukrainian forces have successfully compelled the Russian military to redeploy resources and troops from other combat zones in Ukraine to the Kursk region. He noted that as of early August, the Russian troop presence in Kursk was around 10,000 personnel, but it has since grown to 35,000. Russian units involved, the 155th Guards Naval Infantry Brigade, the 56th Guards Air Assault Regiment, the 810th Guards Naval Infantry Brigade, the 11th Guards Air Assault Brigade, the 144th Guards Motor Rifle Division, the 71st Motor Rifle Regiment, the 38th Separate Guards Motor Rifle Brigade, the 64th Separate Guards Motor Rifle Brigade, the 200th Separate Motor Rifle Brigade are engaged, the Piatnachka Brigade. Kovalenko mentioned that there are rumors of the presence of Akhmat forces, but Ukrainian troops have yet to encounter them. Recently, President Volodymyr Zelensky disclosed the number of Russian losses in the Kursk region, stating that 6,000 Russian soldiers have been killed or wounded. According to the military expert, with the current Russian force size at 35,000, the total Russian troop commitment in the Kursk region over the past month amounts to approximately 41,000. Despite the reinforcements, Russian troops are struggling to stabilize the situation and continue to lose territory. Kovalenko suggested that this might force Russia to deploy additional forces, potentially increasing their presence in the Kursk region to at least 50,000. Kovalenko added that Ukrainian forces have disrupted Russian logistics by cutting the crucial rail link through Sudza and targeting key roadways, including the E38 highway from Kursk to Rilsk. They have also seized the largest gas distribution station in Sudza, a significant strategic asset. Initially, Russian representatives declared an end to negotiations with Ukraine, including those concerning prisoner exchanges. However, Kovalenko reported that on August 24th, a prisoner exchange took place, with 115 prisoners from each side being exchanged. Kovalenko concluded that the Kursk operation has inflicted a level of humiliation on Russia not seen since World War II, emphasizing the significant impact on Russia's reputation and the ongoing difficulties in addressing and countering the Ukrainian advances. The Russian army has nearly destroyed the city of Vovchansk, located just five kilometers from the border with Russia. It has been almost leveled to the ground, according to the separate presidential brigade named after Hetman Bodan Kamelnitsky on Facebook. According to the military, the city is nearly completely destroyed, with streets burning from artillery and FPV drone strikes, and it is covered in smoke. There is a constant buzz of drones in the air, with dozens of quadcopters operating simultaneously. Above them are reconnaissance wings. Air superiority almost always translates to ground superiority, the military reports. According to RBC Ukraine, they note that recently there has been a large number of Russian reconnaissance drones over the city. Despite this, the Russian forces are also complaining about Ukrainian drones. According to the intercepted communications, they complain a lot about the number of our drones, reconnaissance and strike drones. The Russian troops are constantly under our surveillance. We detect them and inflict fire damage. This is, in principle, routine work, said the commander of the 2nd Mechanized Battalion of the Separate Presidential Brigade, known by the call sign Samurai. He noted that currently the Vovchansk direction is defended by some of the most combat-ready units of the Ukrainian armed forces which have combat experience. Everyone understands that we cannot allow the enemy to advance further in the Kharkiv direction. No one wants to fight for Kharkiv again, as we did in 2022. Everyone understands that we must make every effort to prevent this, Samurai said. The military official explained that Vovchansk is turning into yet another infantry meat grinder for the Russian army and for Ukraine it is becoming a ghost city 
reduced to rubble by the Russian troops and littered with their bodies. This once again proves that the enemy's goal is total destruction of everything in their path and capturing square kilometers at any cost. Recall in early May, the Russian army launched a renewed offensive in the northern Kharkiv region. The defense forces managed to halt the enemy's advance, but battles continue in the settlements of Lybok and Vovchansk. The military has already reported that Russia withdrew some of its troops from the Kharkiv region to the Kursk direction. However, the enemy maintains enough forces in the area to continue their assaults. Recently, the 3rd Assault Brigade conducted a counter-attack in the Kharkiv region. The fighters advanced by nearly two square kilometers.